Hi there, this video is here to help you with recalling key angle facts. Let's have a reminder of the four main types of angle and some facts about them. This is a right angle. It is 90 degrees. It is marked by two straight lines on a corner. In this right angle triangle, there is one right angle inside the shape. We call this an interior angle. Can you identify how many interior right angles there are in these 2D shapes? Pause the video whilst you work out your answers. All complete? Well done. Here are the answers. In shape 1, there are 8 interior right angles. In shape 2, there are 4 interior right angles. Let's have a look at some other angles. An angle less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. An angle greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees is an obtuse angle. An angle greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees is a reflex angle. Have a go at the following questions to help you revise the four angle types. Match the angle name to the angle, then order the angles from greatest to smallest. Pause the video here, then press play when you are ready. All done? Let's have a look at the answer. From greatest to smallest, the angles are A. Reflex angle C. Obtuse angle D. Right angle B. Acute angle Angles can also be described as a turn. One whole turn is a complete rotation of 360 degrees. A half turn is 180 degrees. A quarter turn is 90 degrees, which is also a right angle. Let's see what you can remember so far. Can you match the different types of turn to the number of degrees? Pause the video whilst you have a go. How did you get on? Turn 1 is equal to 90 degrees. Turn 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Turn 3 is equal to 360 degrees. We can describe turns in degrees. For example, in one and a half turns, there are 540 degrees. This is because one whole turn is a complete rotation of 360 degrees, and if you add a half turn, which is 180 degrees, it will equal 540 degrees. Now it's your turn. Can you calculate the amount of degrees in three quarters of a turn and one and a quarter turns? Which of the three turns has the greatest rotation? Pause the video whilst you work out your answer. All complete? Well done. Let's have a look at the answers. Remember, you can pause the video if you need more time. Three quarters of a turn is equal to half a turn, which is 180 degrees, and a quarter of a turn, which is equal to 90 degrees. When added together, these equal 270 degrees. Three quarters of a turn is therefore equal to 270 degrees. One and a quarter turn is equal to a full rotation, which is 360 degrees, and a quarter turn, which is equal to 90 degrees. When added together, these equal 450 degrees. One and a quarter turns is therefore equal to 450 degrees. Therefore, the turn with the greatest rotation is one and a half turns. Let's see if we can apply our learning about angle facts to a challenge question. Emily and Joseph are ordering angles. Each child has selected three cards. They have identified the angle type and placed them in size order. Do you agree with their choices? Explain your reasoning. Have you finished? Here are your answers. Emily has correctly ordered the angles by amount of degrees, but has not identified all her angles correctly. 75 degrees is an acute angle, not an obtuse angle, because acute angles are less than 90 degrees. 165 degrees is an obtuse angle, not an acute angle, because obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. 
The reflex angle has been identified correctly because it is greater than 180 degrees but smaller than 360 degrees. Joseph has not identified the acute angle correctly. 165 degrees is an obtuse angle. An acute angle is anything less than 90 degrees. The other two angles have been identified correctly, but he has not ordered them correctly as 107 degrees is smaller than 165 degrees. I hope this video has helped you to build your understanding of angle facts. If you still need more maths help, we have lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching!